Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. We made it to Saturday. I don't know, last week was, it went by like medium paced. You know what I mean? Just gonna give you the rundown of like what's gonna go on today. Well, half because I think it's like fun to like lay out the day, kind of like get it in my mind what we're doing and share it with you guys. And number two, so I actually like forced myself to do it because I don't wanna do anything today, but we are going to make it a good day and just like a casual day. And I feel like you guys really like vlogs like that. Like I like vlogs like that. Um, anytime someone like a vlogger goes someplace, I don't know, I just find their more casual videos to be a lot more entertaining to me. And especially in the background, like when I'm working or just like folding laundry, like I like more casual vlogs like this. Hair still looks good. I know that like the topic changed pretty fast. I wanted to share a purchase that I got and I've been waiting for this for quite a while. It's on me right now. It is the Serenoni blanket. It is like a gray cream color. It's reversible. So I'll show you guys. It's white on this side with like these little crosses on it um, or X's. I just like the pattern and it was kind of pricey. I love it. Don't regret buying it whatsoever. It's so fuzzy and warm. But there's a little story that goes behind it because I didn't get it and it said it was delivered and I was freaking out because this is like not cheap. I contact FedEx and I was like, hey, like, where's my package? It says it's delivered. It's not here. And FedEx has lost another package before. It was my Gymshark stuff. So I contact them and they're like, oh, sorry. Like, um, it says it was delivered this time, this day. So basically contact the provider that like sent it out. So then I message and email Serenoni. They were really nice. Apparently they have like buyer protection or like insurance in case that happens. So they're like, oh, you have to like reach out to to this company and I'm like okay so I reached out to that company and they were like okay our policy is you have to wait like five days before you like go further with your claim and I was like oh okay so I was like maybe it'll just come a little late and it did so I'm happy they got the blanket so the plan for today I'm gonna work out because Typically, sometimes I go to Cycle Bar on Saturday, but like I didn't today because like I said in my other video, I'm trying to like not go out as much because we're working from home and like gas prices. So I'm just gonna work out here today. Then we are gonna shower, wash the hair, and I'm gonna curl it because I think it'll look so pretty. Like all the curls are gone for my hair now because as you guys know, curls don't like to stay in my hair. Um, so I'm gonna wash it, curl it, and then we're gonna go to Panda Express because you know how they're always out of teriyaki chicken and white rice? Valerie's giving me side eye right now. Yeah, Valerie's cooking. That's part of the plan too. Um, but you know how they're always out of like stuff, white rice, chicken, sauces, like my parents like always don't get what they want either. Well, it was Lunar New Year and I was like, we should have Chinese because it's like Lunar New Year and Chinese New Year, whatever, Year of the Tiger. Um, I don't know, cause we never know what to eat. So I kind of like go off of the theme of like what's going on. So I'm like, okay, let's try Chinese. Panda doesn't have like what we want, then let's go to Payway. So we ended up having Payway that night because they didn't have the chicken. They were like, we have it, but it's only served on the weekends. And I was like, I'm going on Saturday to see if it's true or they were if they were just like bullshitting us, you know what I mean? So that is gonna be a project that we're gonna do today as well. Then I'm gonna come home. I have some laundry to fold. I got it all done yesterday. Um, but I didn't get to fold the towels. So I'm gonna do that after lunch. I'm trying to like build this in my mind and it's already like 1040. So it's gonna be like a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to get done before like one-ish because like I don't wanna eat too late because my mom's cooking and that's another part of the video. So that's the game plan for today. I'm hoping tomorrow will be like a really lazy day, but then that means I will have to film like a main channel style sit down video. And I don't know, I just don't have a lot of ideas. Like sometimes I do. They're not gonna be as long as the vlogs, obviously, because like I just can't talk that much. You know what I mean? Like I'm one of those people that's like really get to the point sort of people when I talk, um, but I love listening to people's like stories and stuff. So I personally like long vlogs as well. So I'm trying to work on like my chitter chatter banter. Hope you guys enjoy it too. I've gotten a couple comments now saying that they like it and I'm like, yay, I'm so happy. So I'm glad I'm doing something right, even though partially the views don't reflect it because I'm not, I'm really trying to like not clickbait because I don't know, I feel like I'm really good at it. And when I do clickbait, like I do get a lot of views, but like I just feel kind of bad. So 
please just click on my video because you like it. Thanks. I'm gonna finish watching this video. I'm watching like Emily Enchanted's like day in my life video. She lives a much more exciting Orlando life than I do, but it's fine. Um, I'm gonna finish watching that and then I'm gonna exercise. Okay, so I just got done with my workout. I didn't film like all four videos that I did because it would just be like really long even though we're trying to make the time longer. But anyway, I, I just didn't film all of it. But I'll show you guys, I did the Wednesday sweaty smile. When I work out at home, I like to do abs and arms. I didn't do arms today, but I did the sweat because I only went to Cycle Bar like three times this week. I did 10 minute abs and fat burn. I didn't do the stretch because I just like stretched on my own. And then I did the 12 minute happy sweat and the HIT workout. The HIT workout, the orange photo there is like my favorite one. It's like super challenging. And my stamina has actually gotten a lot better because like I can get through that one without like having to stop, which is great. And then I did the 10 minute standing abs and hit. Um, I didn't do the warm up, so the one here, like I didn't do, but the one that she's wearing pink, I did. And that one is super hard when it's the last video you do after all of the three other ones. So I can barely get through that one. And yeah, now I'm gonna go to Panda and let's see if they have stuff to eat. I was gonna go after I showered, but I wanna eat kind of earlier and it's like 12, 14, it's not, gonna actually be that much earlier than when I would normally eat but I want to eat I want to try to eat earlier like 12 30 ish 12 45 because I normally eat later um but I want to be hungry when Valerie cooks so that's why I just want to eat a little bit earlier and Panda if they actually do have their stuff in on the weekend is a little bit more filling I'm gonna do that let's see if they have the chicken <laughs> I haven't had this chicken in probably over over four months yeah it's been wild. Well, this is certainly a look, you know? Uh, <laughs> these shoes are way too big. I only really wear them to cycle bar. I don't really wear them anywhere else, but hopefully I won't have to get out of the car because this is really weird. You know what? I'm gonna get the jacket. Well, no, I'm all sweaty. I want dirty. I just cleaned it. So never mind. You know what? We are just gonna go out of the house looking like this. It's at the leisure wear, right? All right, let's go. Let's see if they have the stuff. Change of plans because it is like 60 degrees out. So I go out here and I'm like, oh my gosh, it is kind of cold. So I put on this sweater thing um, because it's already kind of dirty. Like I wore it to cycle bar and stuff. So I was like, you know what? I need to wear something because it's just too cold. This is a better look that I'm going with. And I love this bag, don't get me wrong. Ooh, so cold, but it's just so big even though I love it. I hate carrying it like everywhere because it's just so big and it has everything and it's just convenient to just grab and go. So let's go. Yeah, um, do you, would you happen to have the grilled teriyaki chicken? No, I don't have grilled teriyaki. That's so funny because, um, someone recently told us that they had that, but it's only on the weekends. Yeah, it's like self-weekends. Very random. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> have a good day. Oh my gosh. So, are we surprised? No. That is so freaking funny. Oh my gosh. They they don't have it. Like I'm I'm going to call my mom real quick. Hopefully she can answer. She's like on a break or something. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to go to Starbucks. Hey baby. Sherry, guess what? Yeah. No no teriyaki chicken. Yeah, she said it was on the weekends but super super random and I was like Oh, okay. Like, I mean, it's not her fault, but I just thought it was so funny because like, that's what they told you. Like, not like right. on they Tuesday. Said, Wait, wasn't it Tuesday? Yeah, they said on the weekends. They didn't say occasionally on the weekends. Yeah. So we have it on the weekends. Oh my gosh. But I'm kind of glad that I went to try because I was curious, you know? Yeah. So uh, what are you going to have? I'm going to go to Starbucks. Do you want anything? What are you getting at Starbucks? Um, I'm gonna get just like my uh my coffee and then some egg bites. Whoa! 
Oh, my camera just fell. Oh, it's still recording. <laughs> That's so funny. So do you want anything? Actually, I would like egg bites if they have them. Uh, what t what kind? Can you just text like me? The, Can you text I them like to the me? Kind, the kind with bacon. The kind with bacon. Okay, I'll grab those for you then. Okay. All right, so heading to Starbucks and gonna do the mobile order. That is so funny. I just had to try, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not the worker's fault or anything like that. So like, I'm not like mad. Like I would never be like, I wanna speak to the manager. Well, we did actually ask to speak to the manager over like something else because like they were that bad. So, um, but like, we're not like rude. We're just like, hey, like what's the issue, you know? So just thought that was super funny. Oh, uh, that like made my day. Oh my gosh. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed some of that. I'm gonna get my lunch now and then we'll be on our way oh man today's just a good day i'm always craving starbucks now because i think it's like an addiction it's one of those things it's like a luxury like there's a few luxury things that i do pay for nails now hair i just like got done and starbucks is a luxury like it's way overpriced when i was at duncan and i looked at the prices they weren't that different than starbucks it was only like a dollar difference but the product starbucks offers is just so much better and duncan stuff is like yeah you get more product i feel like but it's just so like it's just not that good it's way too sweet and just it's just not it we have secured the goods got my usual order my vanilla sweet cream cold brew with caramel drizzle so good it's just like the balance it's like that perfect balance of a beverage I don't know, I feel like lattes were a little bit too milk heavy, so I don't know, I'm just like obsessed with this right now. And then I got Sherry some bacon egg bites, and then I got my kale egg bites. Hopefully they gave us two forks. Well, we I'm going home anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We are running on time, not like there's any real schedule in like timing, but guys, like I accomplished what I wanted to because like when I want something, like I want the specific item I want. Like I'm willing to wait for the exact product I want because if I'm gonna be like putting my money towards something, like it has to be what I want. And I think the biggest reason and like lesson I learned when I was young was that like, if I wanted something, I had to like really, really want it because my parents would like get me clothes and like, I don't know, toys and stuff. And I was really grateful and stuff, but I would never use it at all. And then I would like want to give it away to like one of my friends and they would be like really mad. So when I started buying things, like, well, we first like learned, okay, you have to like really, really want the item and then, you know, we'll get it for you. And then my mom would always be like, are you gonna wear this? Because she wouldn't wanna obviously like spend any money on stuff that I like wouldn't wear and stuff. So that's kind of like a backstory as to like, you know, me waiting for things. So for example, I really wanted this like Louis Vuitton mini backpack. It's the mini Palm Springs. Like I used it, well, I use it constantly and I still like love to use it. So I knew that bag was like hard to get. So I just kept checking the website and eventually it popped up. And that's kind of like what I've learned. Try the item on like, see it in person. And if they don't have it or the color you want, then just wait and then like keep checking like on the website for things. So as you guys know, like I've been wanting this um, Define jacket. I want the one without the hood and I want the white one because like I love the way it looks. And I know white is probably not the smartest color to choose, but it's just so, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the Stormtroopers at um, Disney, like the Star Wars ones. So I don't know, I just really like it and I wanted that one. So they're always sold out, especially my size. So I wear a size eight, it fits me perfectly. So I've been stocking the website. Um, they said that they get orders in Tuesdays and Fridays. So I just kept checking the website, I checked it yesterday and they had the black one, but I just got a black Define jacket and I think that that wouldn't be like very smart to get like the same color, just like without the hood. And I like the one I just got, so I'm not gonna part with it. After I got out of the shower, as you can tell, um, Lululemon sent this like promo email. I always get the promotions and it's a really annoying with different companies. I always have to like delete them, but I got this and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just check the website again because you know, you should always just check the website. So 
I checked the website. I had it like bookmarked in my favorites folder and I was looking at the sizes, click on the white one, make sure that the size says eight and it was available. So I just immediately like, I just picked it up. I just clicked Apple Pay and bam. <laughs> So I got the white one. I love how I was saying like earlier, you know, I'm just gonna like cut back on spending because I don't know, sometimes I just go on these like spurts of like spending money and this is no, this is actually gonna be like officially my I'm done purchasing a bunch of shit stuff time because like I've had enough. I've gotten pieces that I wanted and I have plenty of fitness wear so I don't need anything else. And yeah, so now I'm gonna dry my hair. I'm just so happy. Yeah, I even made one of those TikToks where it's like screaming and then it's like, baby girl. And the man in a big beat eight or something. I don't know. I half the time I don't know like the words to songs. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna get to drying my hair. Okay, so I got my hair all dry and brushed out. It looks so much better, guys. Like, it looks a lot healthier than it once did. It's just nice. Now, I'm going to curl it because I want to see what it looks like when I curl it my way, if that makes sense. So, I'm going to put it in my high ponytail and curl it. My hairstylist, Jasmine, did the beachy waves, which I love. I do not think they're cheeky or old, but I definitely, um, I can't produce curls that look like that because I don't have, like, the right curling iron. We have these, like, long fit face framing pieces that I'm kind of living for right now. I love them. They're kind of like, they're like not curtain bangs because they're too long for that, but it still like gives it more dimension, you know? Okay, so I got my hair all curled and we're gonna take it out now. This camera battery is flashing, so I'm gonna uh, quickly replace it. I only burn myself once, <laughs> this finger. I don't know why, but now we are going to take this out. Hopefully I curled it like the right directions because the last time like my other, like this side was curled in, it was like wrong. So hopefully it's not like that anymore. So let's see. I don't think, I think it's correct. Yeah. Oh, it's correct. I am so thrilled. Look how big and curly and voluminous the hair is. No guys, I love curling my hair like this because it looks like the Dyson hair wrap. And I know, I cannot just get over how good my hair looks when it when I do it that way. So that's good to know. My hair is kind of like weird up here. I think that's because of having it in the ponytail. I have no idea. Like it normally doesn't. Maybe it'll calm down a little bit. Maybe if I like try to brush it, I don't know. It's kind of weird up there. Maybe I'll just like try to straighten it like by doing this. <laughs> It'll flatten out in a little bit anyway, so. It's cute. And now I'm gonna go probably take an Instagram boomerang or something. Cause I don't know, I wanted to try this hair, especially with my cut too. Cause my hair is a little bit shorter. It does look shorter now because of the curls. When it's straighter, it's a little longer as you guys saw. But um, I did want her to cut all of that like dead blonde stuff off because that was, hair probably from when I like bleached my hair. And if you guys have been around my channel, um, then you would know like when my hair was like super, super blonde. And this is the outfit for today. This is what we're rocking. Um, I have these pants from Fabletics. They sent these to me and I am so happy with them. Like they're good for pajamas. They're good for like lounge days like today. And then I'm wearing my um, Lululemon Align tank. I just thought it went well and it's not that cold anymore. So the hoodie wasn't as like necessary to wear. So just want to show the outfit. Oh, also another thing too. Um, when we went to go get chilies that night, I got a little spot on these pants and I was so concerned. We think it's just water because everything came out of the pants, but <laughs> I was like, great. I just got these. Luckily I took the picture for Instagram, but I'm like, I already like messed them up. So it's kind of funny. Okay, so before I do the laundry, I'm like, I wanna film a TikTok cause my hair looks good and that's what we're doing. So I'm learning to dance. I think I almost kind of have it, but this one is like kind of hard. It's the one that's like build a house and then call the house call thing like really gets me. All right, I think we got the TikTok. Oh my gosh, guys. I am just sweating mildly. 
TikToks always make me sweat. I think it's half the time because I'm nervous. And then the other times, um, I don't know, you're like moving your body. So I was like, please, I don't want to get sweaty. I don't want to get too sweaty because like I just curled my hair and like washed it. So I think we're okay. Um, I'm just gonna like try to cool down because I don't want to lose the curls. So just gonna throw some laundry in and kind of just like chill out. I don't know what the rest of the day is bringing, but I'm gonna get the laundry in now. Laundry is coming along. Got it all folded. Just need to put it away. Sherry, yeah. she's on break. Um, I am on break. I've got like seven more minutes. Woohoo! Are you excited for dinner? I'm starving. I hope Valerie starts soon. I've just been doing a lot of chores. That's all. And my hair still has curl, which I'm kind of surprised about. It'll probably be even more faint tomorrow, but it's okay. I'm gonna put these away now. Valerie hasn't been in the video yet. She is prepping. Hello, hello. How are you all out there in TV land? <laughs> so we have the mushrooms. These are the fillets. They got the asparagus good over deals. there. Yes. Where's the asparagus? Oh, there's an onion. There's the asparagus over by the oven. Here they are. Just thought I would update you guys. Valerie, we're gonna have to do another cooking video. We will. Um, and then we're having chicken tomorrow night. I can't wait for that. It's gonna be nice. Alex loves shake and bake. Yes, so good. And Valerie, tell them my great idea for the sauce. Cause you guys know, yes. I love Valerie's uh, Worcestershire sauce that she puts on. The, um, my special sauce. The fillets. Well, I uh, started thinking about and I started reading some things that you know, it wasn't really a good idea to use the leftover sauce, you know, especially, you know, when you've got it contaminated with, you know, animal blood and stuff. Bull. So, anyway, it's a cross-contamination issue that you shouldn't, like, really put that on your meat after you bring it in. So Which I makes sense, that. yeah. So I stopped doing it. But then, we didn't have the sauce, and I just put a little piece of butter on it to keep things moist. But Alex said, I love the sauce, and so... Last week for the first time, she gave me the suggestion of holding some of the sauce back so I could then put it on the filet or the chicken or whatever I'm fixing with that sauce. Yeah. When I bring it in, I thought that was an extraordinarily good idea. We did that last week and it worked out well. I've already got the sauce back there waiting. Yay. So she, that was a very good idea. She is one smart cookie. Thanks. So I wanted to film the filet. Look how juicy and yummy this looks. I will film the other stuff like once it comes off, but this just got off, so I'm just gonna start eating now. Valerie's gotten done with dinner and everything tastes and looks fabulous. Thank you. There it is.